I'll be performing for you uh, Roscoe Kirkapile and the Spoon River Anthology, as well as Gilbert and Frank playing the role of Frank by Terrence Mosley. Such a hard name to remember, I don't know. <laughs> she loved me. Oh, how she loved me. I never got a chance to escape from the, from the day she first saw me. But then after we married, I thought, maybe she'd prove her mortality and let me out. Or maybe she divorced me. But few die, none resign. <laughs> then I ran away and was gone a year on the lark. But she never complained. She said all would be well that I would return. <laughs> and I did return. And I told her that while taking a road down Van Buren Street, I had been captured by pirates on Lake Michigan and kept in chains so I could not write her. And she cried and, and kissed me and said it was cruel, outrageous, and inhuman. I then concluded our marriage was a divine dispensation. It could not be dissolved except by death. And I was right. When we first moved here, my parents wanted me to go to the best public schools of England. So we got this tiny ass apartment next to the big old million dollar homes. And I went to school with the white folk. Mind you, I'd seen white people. I just never really was friends with one. First day of school, dressed like I always dressed, which was flat, <laughs> especially that first day of school. But I was running late, so I didn't have time to brush my hair. So I grabbed my brush and I took it to school with me. As I'm sitting in homeroom, the teacher leaves. I start to brush my hair. Kid starts in on me immediately. Why are you brushing your hair? I say, because I know how to take care of myself, so shut up. He takes my brush and starts to throw it around the classroom. I just see kids throwing my brush. I see one kid take my brush and shove it into his book bag. So I get up to retrieve my brush as the, as the teacher's walking back in and I plead to her, that's, that's my brush, that's my brush. She looks at me, she says, Well, you don't have any hair to brush. So I spat in her face. Yeah, I got expelled, and my daddy kicked my ass when I got home. I was 14, crying like I was five. <laughs> I always got this theory. It doesn't matter how old you get. Whenever you're getting beaten by your parents, it always makes you want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> 